questions are quite dramatic. Welcome back people. This is the first video of the year. Happy New Year to everybody. Uh, just wanted to say a massive thank you to all the new subscribers, to everyone who subscribed last year as we achieved 1,000 subscribers on the channel, which is absolutely amazing. So sick, really happy with that. One second, just got a Amazon parcel that I need to sign for. Uh, thank you, cheers. Uh, they always come at the right moments. This is actually a gift for my girlfriend for Christmas that didn't arrive on time. Bloody Amazon. Um, yeah, so where was I? Thank you so much to all the new people and uh, really, really happy with the achievement um, of, of getting to 1K and uh, for the next year, obviously I'm gonna hope to, to make more stuff and more things that you, want, you guys wanna see, the subscribers, so um, if there is ever anything in particular that you would like me to make a video on, then do leave a suggestion down in the comments and I will do my best to fulfill everybody's wishes as best I can. All right, so today's video. Basically, I put out a video last month from the Philippines that got a really good reaction, good response. I'm really happy with uh, all the nice comments and everything else. And yeah, a few people were just asking me on the social media and places like that. Um, about some of the effects and uh, so today I'm going to show how I did this going into the TV transition as part of the video. We are going to sneeze. Oh, I'm good. So annoying when that happens. Okay. Sorry, I'm back. Yeah, so that's what we're going to show you today. Um, it's actually a fairly simple transition to do if you're familiar with Premiere Pro, there's a way to do it in Premiere Pro, which I'll show you first up, so you don't have to do any After Effects stuff. Um, this actually wasn't the way that I did it, so that way is using a green screen. Um, the way I did it in the Philippines was I wasn't ac able to access any sort of green screen on the TV that they had there, so um, I actually just put some marker points on the TV, and that's how I ended up doing it within After Effects. But I will show you both ways, so that if you are able to put a green screen on the TV, then that you can literally do in a couple of minutes. The other way is masking out the TV um, using the track points on the TV. And it works just as well, but it just takes a little bit longer. Um, some people, they might not have access to be able to put a green screen on the TV, so I do understand that. With regards to the footage, uh, don't really have to do anything special. Just I just had camera on a gimbal, just walking towards the TV, just made sure that I got all the way to the TV and made sure that TV was out of the frame to be able to transition from that clip with the TV in it to the next clip that goes into the TV. And that's all you have to do with regards to filming and the rest is done in editing, which I will show you now as we jump onto the computer. Okay, so the first method I'm gonna show you is the is by far the easiest and the quickest and it was involving using the green screen that's already on the TV, um, so you can do that by just going into YouTube on your TV or perhaps putting a green screen on your USB, getting the green screen up and once that's up on your TV and you film the clip, so you've got that clip, you're gonna place it up on top on here, track V2, and then on V1, you'll have the clip that you want to be pl placed on the TV and be transitioning into. So with the green screen clip, selected just go into effects and type in key and you're going to pull up the ultra key take it place it on the clip go up to the top left to effect controls and you're just going to grab this eyedropper drop the middle part of the green and as you can see it's pretty much all already done just with one click and as you can scrub forward all the green has been taken out and it's just the clip underneath um, the only thing is uh, if you if you lower the opacity of the clip with the TV then you can see that uh, the clip underneath is filling up it's not filling up the whole screen of the TV so what you can quite simply do with this one is with the 
clip that you're transitioning into just select it and you're just going to keyframe the position and scale so just click these two with the playhead at the beginning of the clip click position and scale and you're just going to bring the scale down and position it sort of in the center like so and then all you can do from now on is just sort of go through as the clip plays forward and adjust these two parameters here as you're going in just making sure that it sort of stays covering the TV about the same sort of size all the way through just do that all the way through adjusting scale and position Okay, and then once you have that done, you can just go back to the TV clip and just put the opacity all the way back to 100. And now when you scrub through, you can see what's on the TV pretty much the whole way through the clip, which gives a nicer, smoother transition in my opinion. So that's the first method done and uh, now we can move on to the second method without a green screen which is what I actually did for my Philippines video when I was in the Philippines I didn't have the ability to actually put green screen onto the TV um, so I just had the TV as it was and I'll show you how I actually did that. Okay so the second method if you don't have a green screen um, what I actually did was put a few little pieces of paper just in the corners just tuck them in the corners of the TV and one on the sides as well which will just help with um, tracking because I'm going to do this in After Effects and actually try and track on a mask just so that we don't have to go frame by frame from the start to finish and trying to guess where the corners are so if we've got these little markers then we can even if we do have to go frame by frame masking it just takes it can just be a lot more accurate having these sort of tracking markers in the corners um, so yeah I'll show you if we just select both of the clips that we're going to use right clip and replace with After Effects composition okay so now that we're here in After Effects um, you can just rename these two clips just so that we know what's what so the first one we can just call TV and the one underneath just rename it to something like on screen yeah so for now what we need to use is the TV and so basically instead of keying out what's on the TV you're pretty much just going to mask what's on the TV and there's a few different ways you can do that you can use the rotoscope tool you can just go into the pen tool here in After Effects and mask it out but the way I like to do it is to use um, Mocha AE because it can be a lot more time efficient as it can do a lot of the sort of tracking of the mask for you um, so it can just it's basically just to save time so once you've put that onto your TV clip just go to the top left here and just select Mocha and it will just open up into a separate window and all you need to do from here just zoom in go up to this top left and grab this pen tool with the X on it the X spline and just go into the corners where you see the sort of white plasters this little marker on the side just grab that as well just go all the way around and just put those points on the TV and then to come off just right click on your mouse go into the corners and just stretch out these blue levers go in even further with the magnifying glass tool and just make sure that we don't see any of the inner white bit of the paper okay cool so once that's done and we're on frame number one just come back down here to the bottom left and type in 100 for the minimum percentage of pixels used 
which will slow down the tracking procedure but hopefully it will mean that we have to do less sort of adjusting of the mask itself as we go through and also just click on perspective so that we have all these selected and once you've done all that before we do the track just uh, zoom out a little bit and now we can just go over here to track forward so it's done a really good job up until about 75% of the way through the clip and it's still doing a good job but it's just as you can see just sort of coming off slightly here in the top right corner so if that does happen just stop the track go in and just adjust where you need to and basically it will just automatically come up with a new keyframe as you can see here with this little green flag that's come up that's just created a new keyframe and once that's done just carry on with the track you can perhaps zoom out a little bit here and carry on with the track so what I found is as well as it comes to the point where you come to the end where the, the TV screen will eventually be leaving um, the whole entire frame is that you might need to go in every few frames to adjust because it seems to be coming off uh, the mask seems to be coming off um, quite frequently at that point but the good thing about this is it's still done 75-80% of the work so that we haven't had to do any manual um, annoying adjusting of the mask um, it just might come to the point where the last 10-20% you might have to be stopping it every 2 or 3 frames just to adjust the mask so this could probably be the most time consuming part of the whole uh, effect but once you've done it it should look good so I'm just going to be doing that I'm just going to be tr tracking every few frames and then just stop in when it seems to be coming off and adjusting it and I'll just fast forward this bit towards the end um, once I've gone through all the frames and come back Okay, so I've gone through um, the full track now, and as I zoom out, I'll just show you how that looks. We'll just scrub backwards, and as you can see, it's done a good job of just sticking on those corners all the way through. So, as I said, for the last sort of 20 21 frames, I had to go in frame by frame um, just because, as it sort of as I mentioned, as the TV starts to go out of frame, um, it starts to lose itself in the corners. Um, so yeah, you just need to do a few little adjustments um, just to make sure that uh, it stays on track all the way through. So that's what I did for about the last 20 frames. Uh, but up until then, it was already doing a pretty good job. And yeah, once that's done, that took me about 10 minutes in total. So just file, go up to the left here, file, save project and cross out of there and then just go back up to the top left and click the drop down arrow of matte in mocha and click on create AE masks and what that's done is just brought the mask into after effects which we have here now um, but what we need to do is go into TV masks and invert the mask and there we go we have it up on the TV and it's done pretty much the same job as what we did with the keying earlier and it's the same process pretty much of what we did for the on-screen layer where we just want to go in and it, I mean it's an optional thing this you don't have to do it but I like to do it so just keyframe the position and scale, go up to TV, transform, bring down the opacity so that we can see what we're doing and with on screen selected, keyframes selected, the stopwatches for position and scale
and we're just going to bring down the scale position it where we want and yeah as I mentioned it's exactly the same process so if we go through from start to finish and adjust where we need to with the scaling position and I can just fast forward this bit because I've already shown you how to do it all right and again once that's done just go back to the opacity on the TV layer put it back up to 100 and we can switch on the motion blur for the layers and also up here in the top right and as we render it through and watch it back you can see that we get the same result as what we did earlier with the green screen okay so that's how I did that effect in the Philippines video and if you are going to try it out and you're having any problems for whatever reason with any of the software or anything like that stuck on a step whatever it might be just let me know send me a dm on instagram and i shall get back to you on there and if you are tuning in for the first time then make sure you do subscribe as i'll be putting out some more of this kind of explanation of how i do things and and some explanations of how i did things in that last video of the philippines so stay tuned for that that will be coming out as soon as I get around to doing it. And uh, other than that, yeah, if you found this video helpful, then obviously please do leave it a like. I would appreciate that very, very much. And yeah, as I mentioned, subscribe if you wanna see the, more of this kind of stuff in the future. That's all I've got for you today. And again, happy new year. Best of luck for the new year coming up. And thanks very much for watching. See you in the next video. Peace out.